The Evolution of the Palestinian Statehood Quest Actors, Contributions, and Challenges Part 2 Consequences of Corruption 1. Undermining State-Building Efforts A Weak Governance Structures Corruption within the PLO hindered the development of transparent and accountable governance institutions necessary for statehood. Stunted economic growth, mismanagement of resources and funds deprived the Palestinian economy of much-needed investment and development. 2. Fueling political instability. Popular discontent. Widespread corruption within the PLO fueled public discontent and contributed to social unrest and political instability. Fragmentation of society, the perception of a corrupt and self-serving leadership, further fragmented Palestinian society, exacerbating internal divisions and weakening national cohesion. Conclusion The corruption that permeated the PLO under the leadership of Yasser Arafat undermined the organization's credibility and legitimacy while simultaneously perpetuating the suffering and disenfranchisement of the Palestinian people. Financial mismanagement, nepotism, and lack of accountability eroded public trust in the PLO as a representative body, hindering efforts toward state-building and national reconciliation. Addressing the legacy of corruption within the PLO is essential for fostering transparency, accountability, and good governance within Palestinian institutions and advancing the aspirations of the Palestinian people for self-determination and statehood. The complex dynamics of Hamas and jihadist movements in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, one of the most protracted and contentious disputes in modern history, has seen the emergence and evolution of various actors, including Hamas and other jihadist movements. The roles, ideologies, tactics, and impacts of Hamas and jihadist groups within the context of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is explored. Hamas, Hamas, an acronym for Harakat al-Musawama al-Islamiyah, Islamic resistance movement, emerged in the late 1980s as an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood in Palestine. Initially focused on social welfare activities, Hamas gradually evolved into a multifaceted organization with political, social, and militant wings. 1. Ideology Hamas espouses Islamist principles and seeks to establish an Islamic state in historic Palestine, rejecting the legitimacy of Israel. Its charter, published in 1988, calls for the destruction of Israel and the liberation of all Palestinian territories. 2. Political Engagement Despite its militant rhetoric, Hamas has also engaged in Palestinian politics, participating in elections, and governing the Gaza Strip since 2007. Its electoral success stems from its provision of social services and perceived resistance against Israeli occupation. 3. Militant Tactics Hamas has employed various tactics including suicide bombings, rocket attacks, and guerrilla warfare, targeting Israeli civilians and military personnel. These actions have resulted in casualties and heightened tensions in the region. 4. Humanitarian Activities Alongside its militant activities, Hamas operates schools, hospitals, and charitable organizations, providing essential services to Palestinians in Gaza. This dual role has contributed to its popularity and influence among certain segments of the population. Jihadist movements Beyond Hamas, other jihadist movements, such as Palestinian Islamic Jihad, PIJ, have also emerged as significant actors in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. 1. Palestinian Islamic Jihad PIJ, founded in the late 1970s, shares ideological similarities with Hamas but operates independently. It rejects the notion of a two-state solution and advocates for the complete liberation of Palestine through armed struggle. 2. Al-Qaeda and ISIS Affiliates while primarily focused on global jihad, groups affiliated with al-Qaeda and ISIS have also sought to exploit the Israeli-Palestinian conflict for their own agendas. 
these groups have conducted sporadic attacks against Israeli targets and attempted to radicalize Palestinian youths. 3. Regional Dynamics The Israeli-Palestinian conflict intersects with broader regional dynamics, including the Sunni-Shia divide and the rivalry between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Some jihadist movements receive support from external actors, further complicating the conflict. Impacts and Challenges The involvement of Hamas and jihadist movements in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has significant impacts and presents numerous challenges. 1. Humanitarian Consequences The use of violence by Hamas and jihadist groups has resulted in civilian casualties and humanitarian crises, particularly in the Gaza Strip. Israeli countermeasures, including airstrikes and blockades, exacerbate the suffering of the Palestinian population. 2. Political Impasse The rejectionist stance of Hamas and jihadist movements towards Israel impedes efforts to achieve a negotiated settlement to the conflict. Their insistence on armed resistance prolongs the cycle of violence and hampers prospects for peace. 3. International Responses The designation of Hamas and other jihadist groups as terrorist organizations by various countries and international bodies has implications for diplomatic efforts and aid distribution in the region. Balancing counterterrorism measures with humanitarian concerns remains a challenge for the international community. Conclusion Hamas and jihadist movements play complex and multifaceted roles in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, combining political activism, social welfare, and militant resistance. While these groups garner support among certain segments of the Palestinian population, their rejectionist ideologies and use of violence pose significant obstacles to peace and stability in the region. Addressing the root causes of the conflict, promoting dialogue, and addressing the grievances of all parties are essential steps towards achieving a just and lasting resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It is indeed unfortunate that certain actors with vested interest, greed for money, have played with the fate of innocent people of Palestine, depriving them to live peacefully in their own country. Now is the time that an honest, competent, and loyal leadership should come to the rescue of these oppressed, ill-treated, unfairly burdened population from the clutches of war-toned region.